And we're back. What is up, everybody? My name is Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking, of course. Uh, another video I did not need to make, but we're making it. This is the menu. Uh, so earlier in this playlist, I covered the picker. And on the picker, there was a menu picker style. But there's also a component in Swift UI that's just called a menu. And it's just as easy to use, if not easier, than a picker. I think this is kind of what Apple is shifting towards. Rather than having one generic picker, they're making individual components. Don't quote me on that, but regardless, uh, it's really, really easy to use. I think this video is going to be like two minutes long. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking, and this might be the quickest video in the series. I just want to get this component in your toolbox. So let's right click the navigator, create a new file, Swift UI view, and we're going to call it Menu Bootcamp. It's pretty self explanatory, but let's just jump into it. In an earlier video in this series, I covered the, what do we call it, the Picker Bootcamp. And the Picker Bootcamp had a picker style of menu picker style. Let's see if we can see that on the screen here real quick. Menu picker style, and it looked kind of like this. It seems like Apple is now trying to move away from this generic picker to maybe more specific components. I'm not exactly sure why, but menu is kind of the new way to do that same UI. So what we're going to do here is create a very simple menu. Let's use maybe the title and content. And the title, I'm just going to say, click me. And for content, we're just going to add some buttons. So maybe a button one that says one. And I'm just going to copy and paste that twice or three times. One, two, three, four. Super simple. Very easy logic here. The menu is literally just like a drop down menu. So I think depending on where it is on the screen, it's going to pop up above the button or below the button. But this is a super convenient little component here that I would recommend trying to get into your app. This could be good for something like maybe a filter or a toggle that has like multiple options. Anything that you would have used like a picker for that has, maybe it's not a date picker, but maybe it's got a range of five or 10 choices. This is a great option for it. All right, that's the whole video. Super, super simple one, but I wanted to just cover it just to kind of like get it on paper, get it in your toolbox. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.